how to choose the right size for your dog. We have four sizes of collar for you to choose. Small, medium, large, extra large. Be sure to measure your dog's neck in centimeters before purchasing. This dog's neck is 38 centimeters. We recommend the middle size for this dog. Place the collar around the neck. Clip it into place. Make sure the on-off switch is at the dog's throat. Once in place, you should be able to put two fingers in firmly inside the collar. Two fingers inside the collar. This collar is not suitable for dogs that weigh less than 15 pounds. How do you pair the collar receiver to the remote transmitter? Hold the collar's button for three seconds until you hear a beep from the collar. Once in pairing status, the LED light will flash for 10 seconds. You have 10 seconds to pair the two devices. After the 10 seconds, the flashing light will stop. Pairing status is over. You will not be able to pair. You will need to push the collar button again for three seconds. To pair, press the beep, vibrate or electric static button. You will hear a beep from the collar. That means it's connected. Please check the intensity dial is adjusted to a level of vibrate electrostatic ranging from 0 to 100. For pairing a second collar receiver, change the toggle switch to channel 2 and repeat the pairing process. Press the button for 3 seconds. Press the beep button. This means it's connected. To turn off the collar receiver, double click the on off button you will feel a long vibrate from the collar. To turn on the collar receiver, click the on off button once. You will feel a short vibrate. How to use the anti-bark mode. Make sure you have successfully paired the collar receiver and the remote control. Change the toggle switch to channel A. Press the beep, vibrate or electrostatic button to confirm which mode you want. When you press the beep button you will hear one beep. That means it's connected. When you press the vibrate button, you will hear two beeps. That means it's connected. When you press the electrostatic button, you will hear three beeps. That means it's connected. How do you set the sensitivity level? You can set the sensitivity level by pressing the on off button on the collar. The first press you will hear one beep means it's connected to level one. The second press you will hear two beeps. That means it's connected to level two. The third press you will hear three beeps. That means it's connected to level three. The fourth press you will hear four beeps that means it's connected to level four. The fifth press, you will hear a long beep. That means it's connected to level five. 
it is important to slowly press the button. To test the anti-bark mode, turn the collar over, use the remote transmitter and gently rub back and forth over the circle on the back of the collar. How to adjust the collar strap size. For maximum size, first open the button. Adjust the strap towards the buckle. Secure the strap in place by closing the button. This is maximum size. For minimum size, first open the button. Pull the strap away from the buckle. Fold it over and secure the fold in place with the button. This is the minimum size. How to make sure that the dog collar is 100% waterproof. Make sure the rubber cover is fully sealing the USB charging point at the back of the collar. You can now submerge the collar into water for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, you can now take it out of the water. Press the beep, vibrate or electrostatic button. Check to see if the green indicator light comes on. This means the collar is 100% waterproof. When do you need to charge the dog collar and remote? The LED light indicator will blink twice when the power is low, like this. For the remote, the LED light here will blink twice when the power is low. The charging time is two to four hours.